Queridos amigos, soy madre de Yuri Jaakkola, quien murió con Betty Cariño en Oaxaca. Cuatro años largos hemos vivido con la tristeza, con la añoranza de nuestro querido hijo. Cuatro años de lucha por justicia, de negocios con las autoridades mexicanas. Cuatro años de palabras huecas y promesas vacías de las autoridades. Sin el trabajo de Omar Esparza, de nuestros abogados, de las embajadas y de las eurodiputadas, no había, había pasado ningún progreso en el caso. Nada puede volver a nuestro hijo, pero para nos, nosotros como víctimas la justicia es lo más importante. Eso significa la investigación de los hechos y un, y un juicio profundo y justo. El juicio contra el líder del grupo Ubisoft ya está en proceso, pero tememos cómo va a avanzar. Como víctimas y ciudadanos europeos no podemos comprender ni aceptar el hecho que los otros culpables probables todavía andan libres. Hay órdenes de detención, pero no las autoridades del gobierno de Oaxaca ni del gobierno federal han realizado estas detenciones. La justicia ofre, ofrece a las víctimas la posibilidad de recupar, recuperarse. Por eso la justicia es tan importante para nos, nosotros, padres de Yuri, para Omar, quien perdió su esposa, para Itán de Uy y Omarcito, quienes per, perdieron su, su madre para las madres, padres y hijos del pueblo triqui, quienes han perdido sus seres queridos y además sus hogares. También la justicia ofrece a toda la sociedad la posibilidad de mantener su moral, su, sus normas y sus ideas. No hay conciliación sin justicia. Por eso la justicia sería importante también para la sociedad mexicana, quien vive con impunidad. Hello, my name is Barbara Lochbiller. I'm the chair of the Human Rights Subcommittee in the European Parliament. I'm here to demand from the Mexican authorities that there is no impunity for the case of Yiri Yakula and Betty Carino from Oaxaca. Because for in many discussions we had in our Human Rights Committee, we spoke about the case We have information that it's possible to bring those who are responsible for their uh, killing to justice. But until now, we only are in the stage of debates. The case it seems not to progress further. And it's really appeal to the Mexican authorities to uh, do their utmost to bring justice to those uh, who have responsibilities for these killings. We discussed the situation of human rights defenders and activists in Mexico nearly every month and what we see from year to year that the situation is going even worse. On the one side we have good laws and the government says yes they want to act but if we look on the ground more and more people are being threatened if they work for indigenous rights, for environmental protections or for their basic human rights. So it's high time that Mexico uh, lives up to its promises to really guarantee and protect human rights of their citizens. And I can assure you that the case of Yuri Yakula and also Betty Carino will not be forgotten until there is uh, no impunity uh, for those who committed this crime. Thank you. As a co-president of the Greens in the European Parliament uh, and also as a close political friend of Satu Hassi from Finland, uh, I follow since the very beginning the case of the double murder uh, of uh, Jirki Jakula and uh, Betty Carinho. I hoped, uh, also based on all the efforts of Satu Hassi and uh, other colleagues of my group, Uh, that we uh, could uh, urge uh, the Mexican government uh, to investigate and to solve this case. Now, after four years, I see there is no result and uh, I, I can only repeat uh, our demand to the Mexican government 
investigate and make sure uh, with all your means and based on your international obligations, uh, make sure that you punish the murders of the two people. Mi nombre es Raúl Romeva, soy vicepresidente del Grupo de los Verdes en el Parlamento Europeo. Ya han pasado cuatro años desde el asesinato de Yuri Yacola y de Betty Cariño. Ya es tiempo de que acabe la impunidad en México. Basta de sufrimiento y basta de un gobierno que no se preocupa por sus ciudadanos y residentes. Nuestras relaciones entre la Unión Europea y México se basan en el respeto de los derechos humanos. Mientras perdure la impunidad, estos derechos se pisan con los pies. Esto perjudica a todas y a todos. También en nuestras relaciones. Por esto hago un llamamiento al gobierno de actuar ahora y que no espere ni un minuto más. La impunidad es un flagelo terrible. Victimiza a las víctimas más una vez, terroriza a los testigos, mortifica a los familiares y los amigos y las amigas. Este es el caso de Yuri Yacola y de Betty Cariño, quienes fueron asesinados en Oaxaca, en México, hace ya cuatro años, cuatro largos años de impunidad. Vale la pena recordar que la Unión Europea, de la cual estoy aquí en el Parlamento Europeo, y México están unidos por un acuerdo global. Este acuerdo tiene una cláusula de derechos humanos. Además, este acuerdo está por ser modernizado en base de negociaciones entre las dos partes. Pero las negociaciones son un callejón sin salida si no hay respeto por los derechos humanos en el país. Por esto, yo pido que la cláusula este esté activada antes de cualquier negociación. Primero van los derechos humanos, de esto estoy convencida. Sin derechos humanos, las relaciones internacionales no valen. El gobierno de México tiene que mostrar que tiene la voluntad política para que se haga justicia para Yuri y para Betty. My name is Tarek Kronberg. I am a member of the European Parliament and a member of its Foreign Affairs Committee. My long history of involvement in foreign affairs policy tells me that impunity does not pay, neither for your own people nor for external relations. Your own people suffer and the international community does not believe you. The solution to the murder case of Yuri Akola and Betty Carino is an easy one. We all know who are the suspects and we want to see the crime punished. We in Finland, Yuri's family and friends, Betty's family and friends, the European Parliament, we all wait for a vigorous sign that the Mexican government has the political will to overcome impunity. My appeal is give this sign with Yuri and Betty. They deserve it as all the thousands of people killed in Mexico deserve it. From Europe, we closely look at the solution of the Yuri and Betty murder as test case of whether the rule of law exists in Mexico. We expect the Mexican government to act and to act now. My name is Garkella. I'm a member of the European Parliament and the Green leading candidate for the European elections in 2014. As member of the Green Group, I have been traveling to Mexico several times together with colleagues and we have heard time and time again the same excuses about this case. The federal level has been blaming the state level. The state level has been blaming the federal level. There seems to be no cooperation, no coming together. There seems to be no development of the case, of the protection of witnesses and to find the murderers and also the people who are behind um, this murder. And we have seen again that nothing has shifted and nothing has changed. And we're having another anniversary. Yet another year has gone past without proper trial, without finding the murderers. But we Greens will keep working. We will keep traveling to Mexico. We will not give up on this case because it's very important to end impunity in Mexico. My name is Satu Hassi. I'm a Finnish MEP. Uh, member of the European Parliament and also a former Minister of Environment and Development Cooperation. 
I have followed very closely uh, the investigation of the murder of Yuri Jakola and Betty Carino, and I'm very unhappy to uh, to say that it really. Um, uh, we cannot accept the fact that it's already four years since the killing, uh, but uh, there is still no justice. Uh, this murder has never been a riddle. Uh, from the first day it was very clear which armed group was there organizing an ambush where Yuri Akola and Betty Carino were killed. So the uh, group of suspects from the beginning has been very limited. In a normal uh, society functioning according to the rule of law, uh, this murder would have been uh, solved and the perpetrators would have been brought to justice in, in a couple of months. Uh, it would not, not have been uh, taken years. I have had with uh, my colleagues uh, several discussions uh, with Mexican authorities, both on federal and uh, state level. And my f feeling is that we uh, listen, uh, we hear uh, again and again and again same excuses and always we are given some promises and next time when we come uh, we see that most of the promises have not uh, been fulfilled. There is uh, just delay after de delay after delay and this is really something we cannot accept. I assure you that we are not stopping uh, before uh, justice uh, had been brought. Uh, we are going to follow this case until uh, the perpetrators, the murderers of Yuri Akola and Betty Carino will be brought to, to the court and they are given their sentences.